All right. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome again. This is Brian Clark here um, going over with you today the software program that is going to be potentially saving me about $90,000 in interest on a brand new mortgage that I haven't even sent my first payment in. So if you have not seen the explainer video, I know it's a longer one, but please, 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 this video here is not going to make a whole lot of sense if you have not watched the other one. Um, do your best and make it through it because uh, it is going to help give you a good ground level of how this software program works and the concepts behind it. But I wanted to show you here sort of a live demonstration of why this is not just some program uh, like Mint or anything like that. Mint is great for budget tracking and all that good stuff. I used it. It's a fantastic thing. Now you can use this one program to do the same thing and actually see the results of your efforts and how they work. So I've been on this program uh, for just about a month. As you can see, um, or not see, it's uh, the 28th of May currently. Um, and this is May, June. My very first mortgage payment is not until next month on the first so with a brand new 30-year mortgage I am expected to pay off in 5.3 years that and all credit cards and debts and this is my actual payoff date and I want to show you just sort of how easy this is to update now I come in here and I update this maybe once a week that's that's about as much time as it takes for me to come in here and do this now this is page you're seeing right now is called the action plan um, we have a budget and home office helps you set this up also during the analysis um, you know we get gather some of this information so basically I set this budget up uh, utilities you know what comes out normally um, entertainment and stuff like that Gamefly Audible Netflix all this good stuff groceries I do a weekly estimate of about 150 bucks it has a budget I budgeted 866 as you can see I blew the budget I'm not even done uploading it. I'm going to show you a few more uploads. So what it does, it also brings attention to areas where you can improve. Um, but like on the flip side, gas, uh, since Megan works from home, gas I think I definitely over budgeted for because uh, we maybe both of us filled up once this month, um, which was like $20, $30, $26, $30 a piece. So we're a hundred dollars below there so whereas you know groceries we were kind of pace to blow it in a big way we made up for it in gas so it kind of evens out so you can kind of adjust as things go on and then you can um, budget out regular home services and stuff like that like I have a yard guy pool guy house cleaning working man all this stuff and then unitemized uh, which is you know things that just randomly come up and uh, basically uh, what's what's really nice is is that you know you can put in your unitemized stuff as you go um, throughout the month and then at the very end of the month sort of uh, even it up if nothing else you know the 31st we kind of shore up all payments and things that came out and then you know we'll execute it so uh, this took a little time to set up um, it was very eye-opening too because you kind of learn you know sort of where all these things are uh, but once I set it up, it's very easy to update and do, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, and then you have, um, uh, this is your uh, expenses. Let me take a look here. So you can categorize it by income and expenses. Uh, and then we go to accounts. This is, accounts are, um, you know, your primary checking and saving stuff loans vehicle loans that you have credit card balances and look I'm showing you all this this is my brand new mortgage that uh, we took out money for so we can get into investing and what the payment is it shows you the breakdown of all the stuff okay so this is going to kind of show you and what's really cool is um, it it separates everything so you can break it down to just look at the mortgages look at assets look at creditors and loans and kind of individually update each one. Now, once again, when you purchase the program, you'll have someone that'll help you walk through this and set this up for you and tell you how to best use it per your situation, which is nice. Um, but 
for those of you out there that don't have a regular nine to five uh, and that are 1099 or uh, self-employed, uh, I would recommend you doing what I do. Uh, I paid myself basically half what I take or a little less than uh, on the 1st and 15th of every month. So I do what's called a draw. And what is nice about that is, is that this could actually be significantly faster. But because I am doing it on like worst case scenario budget, um, it still has great results. But uh, the point of it being is that you can allocate how much income you actually want to use or report to this program. So as you improve your financial situation, it can accelerate or decelerate. Um, in a big way and I'll show you kind of how that all works. So we go back to the action plan. I've inputted all my information, my expenses and all this stuff. Now I have on another screen up my, my checking account, which is usually what I do. I want to show you, keep an eyeball on all this stuff. I want to show you how simple all this stuff is um, because it really is pretty easy to use. Um, so we made our Bank of America payment here. Uh, we scheduled this because this is the minimum payment, um, so the the program knows. We scheduled this. All you do is come in, you click it, you hit execute. Now the payment didn't, uh, and what's cool is it says your last statement balance, current balance, and all that stuff, so you can make sure all that matches. Uh, the payment actually didn't go through until the 26th, so all I got to do to update that is change the date, so the 26th, and then we did the minimum payment. It's a final transaction because you know we're not going to do it again until next month, and then we hit execute, and now it goes away. Okay, so um, what's really cool about that is that immediately once you update it, it disappears. Now the reason why you see some of this stuff that's older is I think my credit card uh, someone I had a foreign charge go, so some of my automatic accounts have not come out. Uh, so I have to call them and actually manually pay them. Um, and then my house cleaning people have not been cashing my check. So uh, I don't update it until it actually gets cashed. And I'm looking at my account right now and it still has not gone through. So I got to call her and tell her, hey, go cash my checks. Because <laughs> it's messing with me. Um, but yeah, what's really cool is um, when you go into sort of the uncategorized stuff, um, Let's let me skip into next month because I don't have anything that's uncategorized at the moment. Um, but let's say you wanted to put in uh, something that's not a normal uh, bid, like uh, you just because I have like going out to eat and stuff like that. But let's say you guys went out and had a fun night out at uh, you know what you might call it uh, the, the little top golf. Okay, so what's really cool is that you can pick. Let's say you went out um, on the tenth of June. And you spent uh, 163 bucks and 20 cents. Okay, what you do is that you don't click click this final transaction box because you're not done with the end of the month on that uncategorized. And what's really neat is if you look here, it automatically takes that amount out from your total budget of fun or whatever uncategorized things, unplanned things, and then you can just simply go in here and do entertainment and just do like events and then you hit execute and what it'll do is now it'll change your monthly uncategorized budget to 2836 and then until you have something else and you can do a little memo of what it is you know top golf and uh, and it'll keep track of that and it'll change your payment uh, plan and all that good stuff which is I mean this is so cool guys because anything that you do it's going to recalculate this information which is you know super important to do now, um, I one of the other things, predictability, I want to show you is that right now I set up on my program. I, I wonder where I can show you that I did this. Um, I wanted like a minimum of $4,500 in my savings account. I have to find where that is done. When I initially set up my program, that's... That sort of like was my bottom uh, budget, and I'm wondering if it will 
tell me. See, currently I have 5190 in my savings. Um, and you can see the program, I'd already executed, but the program has prompted me to move money over. So when I first started, I did a big chunk, a smaller chunk, and then this. So I'm already above what my minimum is, and it still has me do doing some uh, additional moves because I'm about to do a big funds transfer to one of my credit card balances that I have. And what's really neat is if the balance isn't exact to what you have in the bank, you can do a statement reconcile and update it so that way the software is accurate. But if I go back to my program and I, I show you, it's got another funds transfer to my savings account of 1823.52. It is specific. <laughs> and based on how all this gets updated and pans out, this number will change. So if we had we blew the grocery budget and you know did had some additional things that came out that were unexpected, this number will change. So always update it per what it says. Get it as much up to date as you can. So I'm going to go back and you know manually pay my Audible and check on my my cleaning people and see why they haven't cashed either one of my checks and then um, you know figure out what's what's going on here so that way this is all updated so by the time my my savings transfer here comes um, it'll be an accurate number which is really neat and then when Megan and I you know I do my auto pay and then Megan gets paid I update it same way as we did before um, but but one thing I can do here like my water bill was way less than what it normally is um, where's that um, Bank of America. Here we go. City utility bill, seventy six ninety one. So um, I guesstimated a rough estimate of a hundred bucks. It came out on the twenty eighth. So I'm gonna fix that. And then it's seventy six ninety one. Water bill, and then I click final transaction, and I was under budget twenty three bucks, so that's kind of cool because that's going to go towards discretionary. But if I'm over on other stuff, it'll even itself out. So I'm just going to hit execute, and then bang, that line item is gone because uh, you know we paid that water bill. So you'll see things will update. You can see so far I've already. Um, saved some interest uh, it was over ninety thousand uh, dollars but what's really nice is the planning part how to adjust because you know with regular Excel spreadsheets and things of that nature there's no no room for error this is why this is the sort of financial GPS so let's say you know after this whole COVID thing Megan and I are you know beating each other up because we, we've had to be indoors and we want to take a vacation to kind of recharge well, this is the really cool thing and how you can do that. All you do is go to Add New Action Plan. We're going to do a withdrawal. You can select what account it comes out of. So I can you know, take it out of either the credit cards or the checking. I'm just going to do checking to make it simple. And I'm going to call it uh, Vacation. Okay. And then we're going to do this, let's say, July. 23rd is when I'm going to actually pay for it and let's say it's uh, you know $2,500 getaway okay so all we do now is I select category I can go into um, let's see there's definitely vacation where are you personal no entertainment where's my vacation I might have missed it. Oh man, where? That's weird. As you can see, it has all these like subcategories in each one of these, so it makes it very easy. Oh, travel. Good lord, travel vacation. I was like, I know it's here. <laughs> so uh, this is just so I can plan. Now I want you to take a look. All right. So now we're doing this two months out. I'm just kind of sort of planning. I want to see how it affects my pay off in my my timing now keep in mind if you can look behind here we're gonna see if it changes this I don't think it will but I think it'll change some of the ones in the future and we're gonna just hit save so look it changed my payoff time just a month 
and then it went from my payoff time being like 9-1 of 20-25 to 10-3. So I immediately see the effect of that. And then I can go down to the month where we're planning on disappearing. It did change this uh, transfer because this one was higher. And it went, and now it made it go a little lower to accommodate for us going on this vacation. And then all we got to do is find out here's our vacation. Okay. And what it does is that it doesn't want to put you in the red. So it's going to readjust to accommodate this additional unexpected expense at this particular time. And then it just readjusts when you transfer and do your money. Um, which is super, you know, it's great for planning. You know, you may end up spending more or less depending on what you all do, but it allows you to kind of see uh, how that affects your money. Now, the cool thing is, is this little box right here that says true cost. You click that and it's going to show you the true cost of that vacation because if you had spent that money and canceled interest and said the true cost of the vacation is actually 2782 because you could have used it to cancel some money out now it doesn't seem like super high or anything because a lot of my loans and everything are super low interest rates uh, fortunately good credit helps um, so but I could have canceled additional interest but at least it'll allow you to see what that true cost is so you can leave that true cost button on I think it makes everything look a little too cluttered so I, I usually don't but it's a great tool for planning. Now, here's the other thing. You know, obviously, paying everything off in uh, 5.3 years is super exciting. But the reason, let's not forget, what was the reason why I um, got this program or did the refinancing in the first place? It was to get a rental, right? So, you know, I erased the vacation. It goes back to the 5.3 and the 9.1 uh, nine payoff time. Well, I'm planning on getting another home. Uh, to, to rent out. So what we do and how you can kind of plan this is you can see, you can go to accounts, I'm going to get a new mortgage. So what we're going to do is we're going to do add a new account. And do a mortgage. And I want to, this is going to be Brian's rental. Um, let's say I get it through the same company, you know. And we're gonna go to advanced, and I kind of have a general idea. I only want to spend like 150,000. I'm just gonna use this as a random number because I don't know exactly what the mortgage is gonna be, but I want to get an idea of how it's gonna affect my payoff time. This is the part that is super exciting that allows you to um, really really work work uh, in game plan so I'm, I'm probably gonna pick something up let's say in June next month so from 15th we'll say I'm gonna pay for my primary account it's a uh, monthly compounding because it's a it's a loan and then you do it in terms of 360 um, which is what all mortgages go off of Rate and term, starting balance, 150, because uh, I'm going to finance. Um, let's, let's assuming that I'm putting you know 10% down, it's 150 that I'm actually financing. The rate's going to be a little higher because it's uh, a rental, but it's still going to be about 375. And then remaining term in months, it's still going to be 360. And then payment amount, I don't know exactly, but um, I mine's 1150 with all my stuff, so I'm just going to say. Uh, 1025 which is probably pretty close obviously I'll put in the more accurate stuff but uh, payment date is gonna be my first payment date if I acquire it next month um, it's not gonna be until the August 1st uh, is when my first payment will be all right so now I have it in there so keep in mind 5.3 I'm getting a second mortgage that's brand new on top of what I have and then I hit save Oh, and see, it won't let you if you do it wrong. All right, sorry about that. I got it figured out. <laughs> I'm still messing around with this thing, so it just took me a minute. I, I had my dates messed up, so it wasn't reading it right. So the cool thing is it doesn't let you do an error. And what's really nice is if you ever get stuck, you got live chat, 
and training videos and stuff like that where you can click and just kind of pick it up. So I added this second mortgage here, okay, as a rental. Now, I haven't done anything else. It's a rental, but assuming that I didn't even have anyone renting in it, it would only change my payoff time to 9.9 .9 years. So think about that, folks. Two mortgages, over $300,000, 9.9 .9 years. But here's the thing. I'm going to be getting income from it. All right, so it's viewing uh, my expenditure for it, but I did not account that I'm going to be receiving rent. So now what we need to do is account for that. So we go to a budget. We're going to add income. So I have it, uh, a mortgage of, you know, 1051 or whatever I put it in there. I already forgot. Sorry. Uh, what is it? My expenses, uh, mortgage. I'm going to add the income. Let's say I rent it out. It's not going to be, you know, it's going to be rental income monthly. It's going to, I can sit in here and do business and do, um, put it in as rental to categorize it properly or in investments buy, sell transactions, dividends, deposits, capital gains, all kinds of stuff like that. So you can actually put it in and categorize it properly. Um, I'm not going to waste time finding all that, but I'm just going to do, um, see if it's in here. Rent lease. There you go. Uh, and then I have it rented for $1,400 a month. Okay. And my first rent is not going to be done until um, after I acquire it most likely so if I get it in August I probably won't get my first one till September 1st okay so now I have the income coming in I'm accounting for it and I you can break it down and where it's coming and all that good stuff uh, but you know minimum one year lease obviously it'll change I can accommodate for if, if someone moves out and there's empty you could just say you got nothing from it and it'll recalculate but let's see what it does to that 9.9 .9 years once I have uh, rental income and a little bit of cash flow. It's like $300, but let's see what that does to my payoff time. Okay, 6.8 years. So here's where I want you to wrap your head around this, folks, is two mortgages in 6.8 years, okay? This is how you get out of debt and build wealth. This is the power of having a software program that makes this easy. Many people, you're probably thinking in your head, oh man, I could probably do this yourself. Maybe, why haven't you done it already? Is it as effective? Does it take as fast as I just showed you? Is it dummy proof? Can someone else behind you step in and do it quickly and easily without needing massive amounts of training? Does it account for the outside variables? And the answer is collectively no. This is why there are tons, over $2 billion of mortgage interest has been paid off using the software program. And this is why it's so easy to use. Now, the really cool thing is when you buy the program, it will monitor up to three mortgages for your in that initial price. Now, once you get into multiple other properties, they do have a little upcharge. But at that point, who cares? If this thing has saved you, Look, it's going to save me over $115,000 worth of interest. Who cares? That's my point, is that this is so powerful to let you know where and what direction you're going to go. It is a no-brainer. And you can go take a look at your account history and make sure this is all stuff that I've already done and hit. And like I said, I would do this once a week, and I would just come in and look at my account and bang, 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 and put it all in here. And I've done already 58 entries and it didn't take me much time at all so it's not like i'm you know pouring over and megan helps me out with this too so it makes it super easy and the fun part is is that it also generates reports for you so you just hit your budget now you know uh, the tax the tax stuff um let's hit this month the uh, tax programs and things that you knew, use, they all do this kind of stuff. So this isn't super fancy. But look, this is all in one place. You don't have to keep jumping around to multiple different accounts. It's all here. 
So you can look at your overall budget and see where you're spending your money and what's really becoming a nuisance and how, um, you know, you can look at your categories and see exactly where you blew the budget versus where you didn't. Because you can look, you know, blue, income, okay, well, that's good, that's big. Green, uncategorized, that's a pretty big chunk. Health and fitness, shopping, and, you know, I know food uh, is a big portion of our budget. But it gives you a cool little breakdown. You can do a PDF and, you know, keep track of all this stuff. Um, but, you know, once you start building also net worth, it'll follow that as well. So, listen, you know, this is my message to you is that if you don't want to be chained to a mortgage for that long, most of you I helped get one, which <laughs> you know I don't feel bad about because real estate is one of the best investments you could possibly have, especially after some of, some of you were affected by COVID. If this, uh, the folks that had this program prior to the market crash, they had the equity and the ability to sell to relocate when needed. They survived because they had this program paying down the mortgage where other people were stuck in homes they could no longer sell because they were upside down. So there is so much more behind the power of this program that meets the eye. It is worth just getting an analysis done to see what it could do for you and your family. Because at a click of a button, you have budget overviews, you have all this stuff. It gives you a quick rundown. Oh, I only have $39 left for, um, you know, entertainment. Oh, food, $311. And then auto expenses. Um, you know, I haven't paid my, my insurance hasn't come out yet. So we'll see. So there's all this stuff that is here that, you know, you can see at a click of a button. And, you know, that's, that's the power of this. And that's what's really exciting for me and what's exciting for my clients. So I encourage you, reach out to me. I would love to help you out. Thanks for tuning in. And by all means, if you have any questions, I'm here to get you out of debt. And I'm super excited to do it. Take care.